What's up guys, Denver of Discharge here. Our voices are discussed so that we can give you secret tips and tricks of the military. This video is going to be an overview of Marine Combatant Dive School. This has nothing to do with personal accounts. If you guys want to see a video on personal accounts about dive school, let us know. Even if there are several dive schools out there, throughout this video, we will be referring to it as dive school. Before we get into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, we want to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers. It really means a lot. Please help us get to the next 2,000 subscribers. Let one of your buddies know about the channel if you like the information we put out. We appreciate any support we can get. Marine Combatant Dive School is located in Panama City Beach, Florida. The galley at this base is absolutely amazing and you get to stay in the Navy Gateway, which is literally a hotel. It's pretty Gucci there. This is an eight week course where you earn this bad boy right here. If you're lucky enough, you could be here during spring break. Just don't get in trouble if you are. You will get orders here if you are a recon corpsman or possibly if you're a recon marine. Do not be surprised if you do not go here until later in your career. They do screen for dive school billets at BRC, but it is by no means a guarantee. Some recon marines will never even become divers. Just remember that this doesn't make you more or less of a recondo. It just has to do with your command's needs and being at the right place at the right time. Marines usually go through a pre-dive course before they come here and some corpsmen are able to go through it as well. If you want to see a video on pre-dive, let us know. If you're a corpsman going through the SARC pipeline, you will go through this course. Depending on slots and school times, you may come straight here after BRC or after you complete soccer. It just depends. Keep in mind that this is less of a selection course and more to train you up. Some may refer to courses like this as a gentleman's course. It is still possible to fail dive school, but the main focus at this point is to train you and make you a better reconnaissance man. Your instructors will be recon marines just like you and will be there to mentor you and help you if you need it. Corman, don't get out of shape during SACO and take this course seriously. If you do not pass this course, you will not obtain the NEC of SARC and will be sent to the fleet in an LO-3A billet on needs of the Navy orders. You kick off dive school with the SOCOM screener or RAC, which is pretty much identical to the drown proofing test everyone is familiar with in BUDS. You do a series of maneuvers in the pool with your hands and feet tied together. The only difference is that over here you do it in a 12 foot pool. You have two tries to pass this. If you want a video on this, let us know in the comment section below. You will take a PST here. The PST here is diver standards. 12.30 swim, 42 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 6 pull-ups, 12.30 run. You shouldn't be even close to 12.30, so this is pretty easy. You will do tank treads and ditch and dons here. The tank will be weighted and you will also have a weight belt, so get good at treading with fins. You'll have some exposure to these procedures during pre-dive so this won't come as a shocker. The rigs used in this dive school are the Mark 25 rebreather and the basic scuba rig. The Mark 25 is used by combat dive units of the US military. It is chest more. You will do pull hits with the scuba rig. Pool hits are where you are messed up by the instructors who are pretending to be rough waves hitting you. Again, it is used to simulate worst case scenarios happening to you if you were out on a dive. Examples of this are pulling the regulator out of your mouth, your mask off your face, removing your straps, smashing you to the pool deck, and tying your regulator in knots to restrict airflow. You have a series of maneuvers to do to get yourself back to having an air supply with your scuba rig back to normal. This teaches you how to stay calm in the water and proves to the instructors that you are ready to actually go out and dive. There are three series of hits, light, medium, moderate, and heavy. There are also written tests here. They are on basic dive medicine, dive physics and gas laws, and underwater navigation. Gas laws involve a little bit of math, so if you suck at math, just be aware you'll be doing a bit of it. As far as finning goes, you will be doing fins with a tack board. A tack board is a piece of equipment used in underwater navigation. You will be doing a lot of 2k fins here, with the longest being a 10k. The pace for this is 15 minutes per 1k, just like BRC. The 10k fin is just for completion. The fins you will be able to use here are frog fins, jet fins, and rocket fins. We recommend frog fins. Only select places have frog fins. Your best bet is online. We will try to find a link to a store where you can buy them. Once you are done with this course, corn will go to dive med school. Recon Marines will go back to their unit who sent them or report to their first unit if they are a pipeliner straight from BRC. Again, this is just an overview of the course. If you want specific tips and tricks and personal accounts of this school, please let us know. That's the down and dirty of Marine Combatant Dive School. We at General Discharge hope we answered a lot of questions and consolidated information out there for you guys so you don't have to go searching for it. If you have any more questions, feel free to use the comment section below. What course do you want us to cover next? All your friends 
are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.